Hey guys, get ready with me as I show you how to DIY some ombre extensions. Ready? Let's go. This video is sponsored by krshairgroup.com and I'll be using their 20 inch natural coarse clip-in extensions for this look. I really like that these extensions have blunt ends. I think it looks better and that means you don't have to take it to a hairdresser to get trimmed. Uh, and this is a better look at the clips and also at the texture. It looks great, matches my relaxed hair really well. I'm going to quickly install one of the wefts so I can see how much longer it is um, than my hair and figure out where I should stop the bleach. The reason why I went with 20 inches is because since my hair is 16 inches long, um, it'll look more natural if I have the ombre start lower down and fade into my natural hair color. So this is about how much longer the extensions are from my natural hair. Um, so I'll put a clip there so I know where to stop the bleach. We're ready to bleach so I'll lay the hair out on tin foil and then grab my tint brush, glass bowl, Cream Developer in 40 volume and Powder Lightener, both by Clairol. And then mix the powder with the developer in a rough 1 to 2 ratio with a wooden stick. So starting with the part I want to be lightest, which is the tips, I'm going to add bleach to the tips and then go back with the brush held vertically and kind of blend that upwards. Set my timer for 10 minutes and then go back in once I see the hair start to lighten. So that part will be the next part of the ombre. And then also adding bleach to the rest of the hair just to add some dimension to it. After shampooing out the bleach and leaving them to air dry overnight, I'm going to use Chi Iron Guard and my straightener, which I'm setting to 450 degrees, to straighten them out. After spraying a section with the Iron Guard, I'll use the straightener to straighten them, but then curl towards the side that has the clips on them. This way, the curl will curl under instead of curling out. And now for my makeup, I'm using a Sephora foundation brush to apply MAC Paint Pot in Lay and Low all over my lid. I like this because it really evens out my um, eyelid in preparation for an eyeshadow, which is great. So now I'm using a 224 blending brush to apply Woodwinked all over my lid and up into my crease. Now I'll go back in with that same brush and apply underneath it all eyeshadow right here in my crease just to add some shading. And then I'll define my eyebrows with the NYX Wonder Pencil in medium. And then use the foundation brush to blend out that harsh line. To keep this look light and fresh, I'm going to skip the winged eyeliner this time and just line my bottom waterline with Marc Jacobs Gel Eyeliner in Blacker. And then I'll finish up my eyes with Benefits Better Than Sex Mascara. I love this mascara. It's much easier to use than um, the Their Real version. So you could try this out if that Their Real mascara gives you kind of the spider legs. This one won't. Now I'll top it off with NYX Butter Gloss in Cupcake. And that's it. It's a nice, easy, light look. Perfect for summer. Now we're going to put the extensions in. So this is my hair just washed and blow dried and straightened in preparation for the extensions, which we're going to put in right now. So I'm just going from the bottom to the top and putting in the extensions, making sure there's enough room in between each weft, but also making sure there's enough room on top to kind of blend in with the wefts. And don't forget to put the wefts on the side too. This helps to really blend out the short hair with the super long extensions. And we're done. This is what it looks like. Just a really subtle ombre towards the bottom, which is exactly what I wanted. Now for my outfit, I'm wearing a Lace Maxi by Silence and Noise. You can find this brand at Urban Outfitters. I love the back. And this is the bottom. Um, I think it's a little too short for me, so I like to tie up the side to kind of distract from that. And then I'm just wearing flats that I got from Zara. I love this color. It matches my skin tone almost perfectly. And for my hair, in keeping with the easy nature of this dress, I'm just going to do a loose twist. So I'll twist a couple times and then put the scrunchie at the very bottom and then kind of shake the twist out so my hair falls out and it's like a nice, easy, loose twist. And then on my nails, I just have a light blue with a gold gradient on top. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.